how many of you have heard of binary? A couple of you. When you're dealing with computers, you're dealing with electricity. And most specifically, it's usually on and off. And actually, everything you do in a computer can be represented as on or off. So you can show information using combinations of on or off, or up and down, or right. left and right. Pretty much any combination of two opposites. And when you have these two opposites, we call that language binary. Binary. Perfect. So for every space, you can have two options in that space. We already talked about having either a zero or a one. one, right? Why don't we use on as just a, a clear box and off would be a dark box. In our activity today, we're gonna say that a dark box means everything is off, like all the lights are off in the house. Dark box means and a empty box or a white box means on. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to hand out these worksheets. And do you know what they actually are? These are, yep, they're binary codes, which means this is how you would represent or show a letter if you were on the inside of a computer. All right? So I'm going to hand these out real quick so that you can all see the code, the decoder key, but I'm not going to have you do anything with them yet. So right now, I'm going to put a letter on the board. How many of these spaces, they're called digits? They're actually called binary digits, which we squish down to the word bit. How many of these bits do we need to make up one letter? Eight. Yes. Five, how many are on the board? Eight. Eight, very good. So we need eight bits to make a letter. And we call that, we call that grouping of eight bits a byte. How many of you have heard that term? Gigabyte. A byte, yep, it's what makes up a gigabyte or a kilobyte or a terabyte, or whatever you happen to be using, right? There's a secret kind of funny name for half of a byte. What do you think half of a byte is called? I saw your hand first. Do you have a guess? How about you? A millibyte? No, there, there is such thing as millibyte, but half a byte is called A nibble. A nibble. A nibble. <laughs> Isn't that what you call it when you take half a bite? Yeah. Some people spell it like this so that it's the same as bite, but that's what it's called. I'm not even kidding you. All right, so I want you to use your super secret decoder key, and I want you to look up and see if you can figure out what the letter is. All right, you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. K. Good. Okay, so this was a K. So now we all have our binary bracelets. We're going to fill them in to look like the first letter of our first name. And then you're going to color your bracelet to look like this. So you'll color, don't color, 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 
color, don't color, color, color. And then you'll color, don't color, don't color, color. So color, don't color, don't color, color. And then you're gonna store your initial on a bracelet. Some kids will find it really hard to understand at first what we're doing with the decoding and you'll hear a lot of, I don't get it or I don't understand. It's okay if even about half the class is like that until you're done with all the examples. Just do some examples on your own, have them figure some out that you write up, and then finish off with the classroom coming up with one for you. By that time, they're usually all on board. There's a big temptation in this lesson to overteach and go into binary and what binary numbers are and how they equate, but you really don't have to talk about that decimal equivalent or any of that. This is purely to give your students an idea how computers store and transmit information so they have a better idea why we do all this stuff so efficiently in the first place. All right, so what did we learn? Yes. So we learned binary, and we learned how to encode letters using binary, right? Mm -hmm. So now we know how to store entire letters using only offs and ons. So what you guys have done is you have made a storage device, and you are storing letters to your wrist right now. Yep, so you're a computer. <laughs>